Hey everyone, welcome to another helmet ballistic test video. I am Mike B and I've got my sexy little Canadian assistant, Devin K, <laughs> with me here today and we're going to be doing a video. I'm sorry about the wind. This is the last video we're going to be filming today. It's probably going to be rough. We'll do the best we can. Anyway, we're going to be out here finally after years shooting the Yugoslavian or later Serbian, I guess, whatever it was, Yugoslavian. Everyone M89. Yeah, everyone. M89 Kevlar helmet. I'm pretty sure this is Kevlar, right? These are made out of Yes, Kevlar. they are made out of Kevlar. Okay, because you know, Aramid licensing stuff. Same difference, yeah. Anyway, we're going to check this out. I've heard mixed reviews. I don't have high hopes for it. Hopefully I'm proven wrong. We're going to be running 32 ACP through uh, 357 Magnum, and we'll see how it performs. Uh, again, really quickly, this one is trashed. I bought this off eBay years ago for not a lot of money. Very little historical significance, so the, the uh, amount of educational value you're going to get out of this ballistic test far outweighs the actual historical relevance and collect collectability of this particular piece. So that's why we do that. Also, no, helmets, even most Kevlar helmets, well, all Kevlar helmets, they're not designed to specifically take a direct hit from a projectile such as a bullet. I understand that. Devin Kay understands that. The reason we do these tests is because we want to see. We're both curious. We're both helmet nerds. We've been liking, the, we've been collecting for years. And it's kind of interesting to see if in that situation which helmets can do what against what calibers and all that stuff so it's just interesting it's fun to fun to learn about so we'll get going all right so up first is the 765 by 17 millimeter uh or 32 acp out of the cz50 we're going to save the red star for the end because uh, we got a lot of interesting guns here and nobody likes that red star anyways so uh we're gonna give it a go here You hit it. Oh, stop 32. Just, didn't go through. Oh, yeah. Freaking sweat bee. Get out of my face. Um, yeah, it didn't go through. Just a little bulge right here. Cool. Alright, now we're going to be rocking the 9x18 Makarov out of the CZ82. Yeah, it's a still stopped it. It's a blow up, but it stopped it. Do you think another shot, or is that no? Because you see, it's not like super blown out. It looks like it just kind of took the rim off, so okay. it would have stopped it. Yeah. All right, sounds good. All right, so it stopped the uh, 32 ACP and the 9 by 18 Makarov. So we're moving right up to the 9 by 19 out of the Luger. back there yep I right, defeated it just a little bulge it's not even that bad of a bulge no that's livable for sure didn't even knock the uh, liners and stuff out so not yet we'll get there all right cool now we've got the 45 ACP 230 grain full metal jacket out of the Colt model 1917 Ooh. Ooh. a lot of a uh, lot of force oh my god that's stuck right in it embedded that's Wow! You might not want to sell this one. That might be a display piece. Look at that. Holy. And there's not even... Oh, it hit one of the... It hit one of the weak points and still just stuck. I've never yeah. seen that in a Kevlar. That's fantastic. It hardly looks like it deformed at all, even. This uh, one would be cool to just, like, leave and put up somewhere. That's fantastic. Yeah, that would be, that would be really cool. All right, now... Now... We'll see. All right. All right, so stopped 45 ACP, stopped everything we've thrown at it so far. So now this is kind of uh, the deciding factor, the 7.62 Tokarev out of a Yugoslavian M57. That's, that's kind of funny. <laughs> wow, that impact on that one. Oh, you smell that? Yeah. You smell... Mmm. That's a perfect clean through. Yeah, okay, so it, and it went into the other side. Yeah. Didn't come out the other side. Nope, it's, that's what you're smelling. You're smelling the burning. Kevlar. Yeah. Okay, so again, like with even steel helmets and most Kevlar helmets, not defeating the 76225 Tokarev round is not a big deal. If they do defeat it, that means that the helmet is really good. 
and um, that's pretty much the gold standard. Uh, the 762.5 was the gold standard for body armor up until recently with the yeah, 5.7. Yeah, the 90s, yeah. And so that's not that big of a deal. This thing has done really well so far. Now, we're gonna wipe that web red star right off you. The commie star. You fuck now. Now, the 357 Magnum 142 grain full metal jacket out of the Ruger GP100. I don't think I hit it. Looks like communism gets to live. Ooh, I did. I hit it just low into the left. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit dude another shot. Gonna redo that one. Yep. Same spot, just low into the left. Let me have a go at her. All right. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see if I can do it. I mean, at least I'm consistent. That's true, yeah. I mean, we can't have shot this perfect all day. No. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Got it. Looks like it. <laughs> yep. Well, not perfect shot, but it's good enough. I've got to hit it right on the fucking It's not star. in the center. Yo, yeah, whatever. It's on the damn you, star. You got it, for fuck's sake. <laughs> all right. Cool, let's check out the inside with the bubbling with the three. Yeah, 357 tears this thing right up. Yeah, it does. Jeez. It's oh, weird God, that it so, stinks. It's so white, though, for yeah. Kevlar, but it is Kevlar. Interesting. It stinks. It oh. does smell. That smells awful. Right, that smells like up. super cancer. So, overall, not a bad result on this test. Uh, this performed like a decent Kevlar helmet would, where it defeated every round up into the 7.62 by 25 toke rub, and of course, the 357. Um, so yeah, it's it's actually a lot better than I expected. I did not give this thing enough credit. I thought they were just gonna be made cheaply. Uh, that's kind of the stigma of any Eastern Bloc country or former Yugoslavian country that they just make junk. And I'm guilty of having that stereotype on a lot of things. This is one of those. Proven wrong. It actually is a decent helmet. It's not bad at all. So I'm really I'm really happy with this 45. The way that that stuck. That just in stuck there. right in there. That's, that's like so cool. magic almost. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I noticed on this one. I've never had this before. That smell. Yeah. That burning. Like, like burning plastic toxic, almost. It's yeah. like PVC. Yeah. It's not good. So we're going to leave this sit out here for a little bit before we put in the, put truck, in the yeah. vehicle to ride home. But anyway, not terrible at all. Pretty cool. So yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. If you got any questions, I'll try to answer them. You guys saw the same results we did. Um, if you consider supporting the channel financially, if you want to see more cool videos like this, the link to my Patreon is in the description. Dollar a month, five bucks a month or more gets you under the Discord server, which is pretty fun. And um, also make sure you go check out, check out Devin K's channel. It's, uh, if I don't put it in the description because I'm dumb and forgot, it's youtube.com slash Devin K. And go check out his content. He does a lot of cool stuff that I don't do and I probably never will because I don't know anything about it. And you can learn a lot from his channel. So go check that out. He also has a Patreon. And yeah, it does help fun things like helmet ballistic tests. We want to eventually get into body armor, stuff like that. Traveling costs money. Um, ammo costs money, guns cost money, and while we can afford to fund out of pocket to an extent, the content's very limited. Crowdfunding really helps us do things like this that cost a yeah, lot of money. Yeah, these are big expensive projects yep. for sure. So, uh, thanks to all my current patrons, my past patrons, you guys are awesome, you're allowing us to do some really cool stuff this year. Hope you enjoyed the video, if you can't support the channels financially, that's totally fine, I get it. We appreciate you watching, that's why we do these videos, it's awesome to see how many people interact, uh, like hitting the like button, which actually does help. So yeah. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you on the next Helmet Ballistic Test.